London or Malaysia, which is the best? Well, I suppose for most people, it's pretty straightforward and they will go for London day and night because London is iconic, it's famous, everyone wanna go there and it's well known. The fun fact is, London, it's the most visited city in the world and Malaysia is slowly getting there, crawling step by step, slowly like a zombie, but eventually it will get there. And there's one thing I like about Malaysia that is so special, something like this, that, and that, and yes, that, and London got this. How about that? And oh yes, this. Malaysia is a multi-culture country, where else you can find the Malay, the Indian, the Chinese, the Arab. And so on. And also in London. London is a multi-diverse city. You can find people from all cultural backgrounds, whether it be African, European, Arab, American, Caribbean, and you name it. You can find it here in this mega city. You see, it's hard for me to decide which one is the best or which I prefer the most. So in this episode, I will explain why I prefer Malaysia over London. It's quite a sick day today man, so I like the weather, it's not that bad at all. So would I actually leave this, right? And move to Malaysia? <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a very tough one man, look at this. Spectacular man, today is a perfect day. Look at the weather man, look at all this boat. Got that other boat over there, flowers. I right, see the British flag and that of course my backdrop there. There uh, you got the Tower Bridge there. Oh man, it can't get even better than this man. Ooh. So this video is gonna be quite, quite hard for me. It's gonna be difficult. So, so would I actually leave London and move to Malaysia? So which country I prefer? So in this video, I'm gonna break down certain things that, that actually can make anyone actually decide to leave in London or move to Malaysia. So anyways, I'm gonna start with the weather. So look at the weather today. Sick, right? Look at that. Blue sky. You can see the police over there. People shouting at the far distance. So like the weather and you know British weather, man. You can't rely on it. Like it's literally, it can break your heart big time. Even when it's this, this amazing. Even when it's like the weather's like this, so it can let you down, man. And it can get cold and it can rain. Yeah, of course, man. The possibility for it to rain is very high, man. So no, no matter what you watch on the news, it says it's gonna be nice throughout the day sometimes you don't have to rely on that but why is it malaysia like you know throughout the year it's so hot man even like if you go there during september and august that is the rainy season for malaysia um yeah man well yes yeah, it's quite hot man so um but the one thing i don't like about in malaysia is that when it gets super 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 hot in malaysia man you don't want to be there because it can get so hot and like you'll be sweating in every part of your body like yeah that is not cool man that is not nice so yeah man, so other than that i think like in terms of weather um i think i'm gonna give it to malaysia because like the weather is so good man throughout the year you can do so many things outdoor um yeah i think the reason why asian people tend to spend more time in the mall uh, because when it gets so hot they tend to go to the mall because they can find anything that everything there so which is a cool thing man that's why most of the malls in Southeast Asia are just spectacular just outstanding man sick so yeah I'm gonna move on to my next point now I experienced some of the best communities like when I went to Southeast Asia um, not just in Malaysia um, I think like the community today is so family oriented so which means like they tend to spend more time with the family but here in the UK um, not really not really like you see some some families that even get along quite well like in Southeast Asia I think it's a must you know? even when they eat they eat together as well which is quite cool so that's why I like Malaysia let's take for instance the Ramadan of course that like, most countries like when they break their fast they tend to eat together break the fast it just shows that kind of like community and that kind of like togetherness which is quite cool man but here ask anyone ask anyone oh yo mate let's come and eat to the same the same plate and they were like yo bro you need your own plate man you need your own plate go and find your own plate so it's not like that people don't tend to share food but in asia people tend to share some people will give you free food as well to taste it to try it um yeah you'd have to pay for uh, which is a good thing that's why i tend to like malaysia and in banana experience that as well no i ain't gonna click for show you that so you can believe me still you know what i mean you've got to believe me so it's the police over there so you just check in i'm just recording you know what i mean so that's one of the good thing i like about um, southeast asia um, i really prefer that when it comes to communities um the community is quite strong there and i love it 
I genuinely love it. So, in terms of entertainment, like in the UK, everyone knows like England to be a football nation. So for me, I support Chelsea. I love, I love football, man. I love the game. I think like Chelsea is the best team in the world. Um, you can disagree with me on that. It's your choice. So if you support Arsenal, Man United, Liverpool, big up to you, man. Great team, amazing. Even Man City as well. Yeah, they're best, man. All the trophy this season. That's insane. What an achievement for that club, man. But anyways, um, in terms of entertainment, um, I, I think there's so much thing going on, man. Like here, I like it, especially in London. You can come here, taking some stunning photos. Go central London. You can go on a boat. See, there's so many things you can take a walk. Um, especially like day like this like the weather it's not it's not that bad at all so it's very pleasing like to walk around so in terms of both weather like london is quite cold and um, malaysia is super hot so um ent entertainment wise i'm going to give it to london so many things where you can play football you can go hang out at the pub you can do so many things i don't drink anymore um yeah man, i'm, I'm going to give that so it's quite hard i told you eh? this video is going to be very very tough for me um because i used to leave my, my own house when i was at university um like even i spent a year in america as well just studying there because like most of the countries i, I believe that it's quite cheap but i can do that and i got no problem with that but here in london my god man it's not it's not ideal man so luckily i got family in london so i got my mom I got siblings i got uncles i got aunties and still my mom i'd have to the one thing is like sometimes i'd have to pay rent most of the time i'd have to pay rent of course that's a good thing man. i'd have to pay rent but i can contribute like paying for gas, electricity and um, even paying the phone bill as well so i do that so expenses can be very very expensive man like paying rent man i'll see the average rent in london expect to pay for one bedroom flat a thousand pound five, uh, for one thousand two hundred or one thousand five hundred so yeah man it, it's mad expensive why is you compare that to malaysia and when i was there of course i didn't stay i didn't actually rent a house i was staying in the house but when i look into the market like how much you can rent a house like let's say for instance in langkawi like literally i was so surprised by the price that actually, that actually came up on the internet when i searched that so like 300 pounds a month like literally everything included if you want a gym as well it's actually included in like in your rent as well so which is quite cool man and that really really surprised me and i think i'm going to give this one to malaysia so that actually actually inspired me like to move to malaysia because like there's so many things going on and it's so cheap to leave there very easy to get around and which is very high deal for someone who's a backpacker and i like to travel man so london is not really really that backpacker friendly even some of the hostels are quite hefty expensive as well it's mad expensive so you need to watch out uh, last year I graduated from university um, i'm not financially stable and it's quite hard as well it's very hard for you to find a job so i study international business um, it's quite tough man, to find a job in london because everyone is of course mate it's not such looking for the perfect job and it's very very challenging so you just need to be patient that's what i'm saying now patient you know what i mean but love traveling as well i don't want to like do things that i'm not actually passionate about i don't really like so that means that i'm very very unsure whether if i want to go on a full-time job or just traveling and making this video for you guys like traveling videos and food videos as well so speaking of food i'm going to move to food now between the two countries like of course my you saw if you go through my channel you, you will see like i've made a couple of videos about malaysia and london like quite recently i checked out some of the food despite well in, in london ball market one of the famous market in london my god man they sell so many international delicious food there but in malaysia oh, you know malaysia the food man is so good man it's so bloody bloody nice so so cheap so cheap like if you compare that to london the london prices when it comes to food man street food are ridiculously yeah man it's expensive so i expect to pay about it will start around six pound upward to ten pounds so by malaysia for fairly decent meal right huge portion as well expect to pay around two pound and upward to three or four pounds which is not bad and i like that right the food they got some wide variety of food man so of course my london got a wide variety of food as well because it's a multicultural city look at this place it's a multicultural city you can find People, people here from all walks of life so they they bring in their own their own style of cuisine into the British culture and yeah man, the food I'm not saying the food are bad they're tasty but just expensive so in terms of food um, I I can get so many options in Malaysia than here in London so I prefer Malaysia of course I love the food man so yeah man, I can't wait to go back anyways um, let's talk about making friends in both countries right so making friends in Malaysia, is it easy to make friends in Malaysia or is it easy to make friends here in London? Well I'm going to be honest as possible right? Okay, I'm going to start with London. 
um, London, let me tell you something, it's not easy to make friends there. It's so difficult, man, because people tend to just like stick to the little circle, like the little friends they, they grow up with, and they don't tend to like, I'm not trying to say they're not friendly, I would just feel like people are very reserved in this country, yeah? Quite laid back, you know? No one actually bother like to go up to someone and start a conversation um yeah but it's i think it's the culture right i mean there's so many amazing friendly people here in london you'll come across like especially the older people there's most old people quite they're quite they're very chatty you know very very talkative you know so uh, when you meet a very friendly british person you've got to love that person see malaysia is so bloody the people are very friendly very hoping very caring and very curious right they want to know more about where you're from what, what country you're coming from and just want to know more about you like i think that's the case when it about southeast asian countries yeah asian countries the people are just so open open-minded they're always smiling even though most people haven't got much but they're always happy but here people yeah of course man they go to university they've got a good job but yeah still they're not quite happy it can be very grumpy uh, that's the fact man it is what it is like in western countries people are more depressed by uh, southeast asian countries uh, people are quite laid back the thing is i've got to be honest though, there's so many things i like about london um one being like how multicultural this place is like people from all walks of life and also in terms of safety uh, in both countries i think malaysia is more safer than here in london london like in recent years um, literally in recent time like crime, knife crime, uh, like acid attack and all those sort of things uh, in terms of economic status like in London like you know the Brexit of course man um, it's not really good for young younger generation so yeah both countries are fantastic if you ever been to London comment down below and let me know which part of London you like and if you will ever want to live in London or if you live in London what you don't like about living here in London um, yeah man if you want international food expect to pay more in London yeah man that's it if you enjoy slap a like and subscribe to this channel so if i can go with i'm gonna go with malaysia 100 percent